Hi friends, it's Jen and today I'm making a requested recipe. I'm making potato skins. Now I'm just going to use two potatoes just for the recipe. However, you can use as many potatoes as you see fit. And this recipe was requested by one of my YouTube friends, Willie Montalvo. Willie, this recipe is for you, my friend. And so the ingredients that you're going to need, very simple. Um, you're going to need some cheese and some green onion. Okay, and for Willie and his children, I'm going to add in their favorite meat, linguisa. <laughs> okay, so I already have cheese is shredded, uh, green onions are cut, and the only thing I'm going to do next, since this is already a fully cooked, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dice this into small little pieces, and as soon as my oven is ready, actually no, my oven is at 425, so I can uh, place the potato skins in there to finish off the process but however in order for these raw potatoes to get cooked I'm going to pierce them with a fork and stick them in the oven uh, microwave okay so I pierced the for I pierced the potatoes with the fork I'm going to hopefully if you have a potato setting mine has a sensor on it so if I just press potato it senses how many are supposed to, yeah see it senses how many potatoes and it starts up so my potatoes are fully cooked from the microwave and next what I want to do is I'm gonna scoop out the potato but I'm gonna leave at least a quarter of an inch thick and um, we're gonna put our toppings on okay so we're gonna go ahead and scoop out some of the potato. Put it in a bowl and you could use this, these potatoes for maybe fry them, make some hash browns or something. But leave it like that. Leave enough potato around it. And I'm only making a couple for the recipe, but for a bigger family, you might want to use, um, it depends, because you're going to cut them in half, so it'll be double the pieces. So I don't know, maybe you could do two potatoes per person, depending on if it's going to be like a little snack or something. Or you can do more potatoes if it's going to be um, kind of like almost a, a main meal or something. But let's go ahead and take these the insides of the potato. We don't want to go too deep into the bottom of the potato. So we're going to leave it something like that. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is I've got some melted butter in here. Oop. I'm going to go ahead and brush the potatoes with butter. You can use a spoon if you don't have uh, one of these type of brushes. Spoon will work just fine. We put butter on the insides. And now we're gonna place the potatoes downside up. Did I say downside up? You know what I mean. We're gonna place this part of the potato facing down. All right. And then, just gives a little more flavor. Who doesn't love potatoes with butter? And we're going to put some more butter. And we're gonna put them in the oven for five minutes. Maybe at this point you could just pour the butter on top. So it's in at 425, we're gonna put it for five minutes. Now they're hot out of the oven and we're just going to flip them over so we can start placing our toppings on top. Okay, now we're going to add our sh shredded cheddar cheese. It's going to be nice and tasty with all this 
yummy cheese. Make sure you put enough to your liking and that cheese that is falling over, that's gonna get cooked and turn crispy. And a little bit more cheese. Then there goes our linguisa. It's looking good. I've never had them with linguisa before. So this is the first. Next, we're gonna put on our green onions. Green onions is one of my favorites. I love onions, but green onions and chives has that nice flavor. So let's put the rest of the toppings on. Okay, friends, so here they are. Here's the end result. I must have cooked these for seven minutes. And when your cheese overflows onto the pan, you also get some cheese chips. Hmm. Okay, friends, so here we have potato skins with some cheddar cheese, some linguisa, and some green onions and you can also top this with some sour cream but remember you can use whatever ingredients you have on hand any ingredients of your choice i just chose to use a traditional shredded cheese and green onions and in this case for willie and his family love linguisa i decided to use linguisa diced up linguisa okay so let's give it a try Okay, friends, so here it is. It's still hot, so um, we're gonna give it a try. I think I might take this one instead. Here it is, nice and hot out of the oven. It's gonna be hot, but it looks like it's gonna taste good. Mm. If you get a chance to try these, try to use linguisa, diced linguisa with these potato skins. You won't regret it. Be delicious. Okay, friends, thank you so much for watching. Willie, I hope you and your children enjoy this recipe that you requested. And come back to the video and let me know how you guys liked it. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, friends. Bye.